Today on the channel from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, we've got the CGI Netflix edition of Skeletor and He-Man. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another He-Man of the Masters Universe unboxing and review. And today, from the Masterverse line, we've got Skeletor and we've got He-Man. But remember, for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, anything over $39 does ship free. Gotta get a deal. And of course, we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna see where it goes from there. And of course, this is the CGI Netflix show version of these. The Masterverse line, all-encompassing, taking all versions of He-Man and Skeletor in this example and bringing those into the line all on the same scale making a, a total universe very similar to what we saw with the classics line and of course the classics line was not around when we had the CGI show so this is a little different here now I gotta be honest you guys know I've talked about it on the channel before I watched maybe the first three episodes of this series on Netflix it just didn't do it for me uh, maybe I'm too old I don't know a lot of people say stick with it hang with it you'll really grow to like it I believe that. I can understand that because at the end of the day, uh, He-Man is still better than Cuphead. And I'm not picking on you, Cuphead, uh, but my kids love Cuphead. And I don't know, it is what it is. I mean, it doesn't doesn't float my boat, but they absolutely love it. But if I had to choose, okay, Kyle, you can only watch one of these. What are you going to do? I'm going to go with the CGI Master of the Universe. That's my wheelhouse. And as we always say, you like what you like, you don't what you don't. Uh, but I just couldn't get into it. There's so many things I want to watch. Maybe one day I will get back to this show. Like I said, a lot of people have said, Kyle, you got to stick with it. You got to get back at it. And it is still He-Man at the end of the day. But very interesting here. Very big figures for this line. Uh, crazy proportions on these that fit in with the show, of course. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan, but I did get these because I am a completionist for the line. But I do like all things He-Man, and I like the representation of He-Man and Skeletor. Now, if they get some of the other characters from that show into this line, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you guys. But I'm sure there's some people that might enjoy that. I will say, you guys probably remember on a weekly purchases many, many moons ago, I did pick up Skeletor and He-Man from the CGI line just to have. They were $2.99 each on clearance. I said, you know what? I'm going to pick these guys up. Why wouldn't I? $2.99. It's cool to have representation of just He-Man and Skeletor from many lines. That's why I do like these. But you can kind of see it is basically these two on steroids is what these look like. So I thought that was really cool. I thought I'd point that one out. But without further ado, let's get down to it. And I guess let's start with Skeletor. I'm feeling bad today. I'm feeling bad. I'm going to start with the bad guy. Very heavy packaging. Probably uh, these two are the heaviest by far of any of the characters in this line. Uh, big chunks of plastic. Look at that. Very, very cool. It's Skele You know it's Skeletor, but you know it's a different version of Skeletor, that's for sure. He-Man of the Master of the Universe, Masterverse, 30 points articulation. He is, of course, the Dark Master of Havoc, as it says on the side there. And there he is on this side with the old Havoc staff. And then you look at the back of the package. Look at that. Big, big, meaty Skeletor. Got the cross-sell, of course. We'll be unboxing all these guys on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe. Uh, check out those videos. Then we got the blurb there. You guys know I love a good blurb. Let's see what it says about Skeletor here. Prince Keldor once tried to take over Castle Greyskull, but the dark magic havoc cursed him, slowly devouring his flesh. Ooh, dark. Now free from his stasis shell, the Mad Prince once again craves power, this time embracing his curse as a blessing, allowing the magic to consume and transform him into the skeleton, or into Skeletor, the dark master of havoc. All right, well, I'm here for that. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it does in here in the package. And uh, very similar to these guys, we do get that background there, the nice cobblestone-like look. See you later off to the races. All right. And we are locked in. I'll have to get the scissors out once again, but there he is. Big chunk of plastic, like I mentioned. Very, very cool. It's going to be an interesting one. I, I'm not really sure what to think about this. On some hands, it's cool because it's a big chunk of plastic, but... As I've said, it's just not my He-Man and Skeletor. But that being said, how many little kids that are enjoying this show will now pick these figures up? So you're going to get some crossover appeal with this one. And who knows, you might cross them over into collecting this He-Man line and maybe getting into more of the other He-Man characters and you're off to the races. So we always got to remember it is a business. Uh, they're trying to do whatever's going to make them the most money. They're not a nonprofit, as we know. Uh, so that does make sense to me. All right, I think I got everything. Let's get these hands out. 
Hands up, hands out. Uh, what's up with this Havoc staff here? Oh my gosh, it's locked in. It's locked in deep. Got to go through the front on this one. There we go. I like what I'm seeing on this too, and we'll talk about that in a second. And now Skeletor. He is out and we're off to the races. See you later. Off to the side. Let's look at this stuff. Let's look at these two hands. He's got two gripping hands on him, but he comes with two fists of fury. How about that? Two fists, one in yellow, one in... Uh, blue smurf blue with the black nails this one is a very skeleton like hand all in yellow looks really good looks like bone of course and this one uh, looks like a smurf hand so there it is two fists of fury here is a havoc staff a very heavy havoc staff and i love the inclusion of a real chain here that really brings that up that is a good look you know they could have done a fake little plastic chain or something but this is like a real chain i really like that the havoc staff definitely similar but different we'll call it you got the purple you got the yellow green color you got the eyes going on all the way down to the handle you got a skull on the end just really really cool really really cool looking interpretation of the havoc staff here so i'm here for that as well now we get down to skeletor this is where the rubber meets the road and one of my biggest issues with these cgi style he-man figures is the little little heads now the masterverse known for small heads on their figures but boy it makes them even look smaller on these so that does look a little strange uh, but boy, it's Skeletor. I think if anybody sees this, they're going to say, oh, that's Skeletor. But boy, he looks different. Boy, he's changed. Uh, and they're not kidding. They are not kidding. Now, the head is movable on this one, but a lot of limitations is the big cowl, the big cloak there is not movable. It is all over the top of it. Looks a little bit like Scare Glow in the inside with kind of coming of the greenish yellow. Uh, almost looks like veins. I don't know what we'd call that going there. You got the big old logo right there in the chest. You got the Road Warrior type arm pads there, shoulder pads looking really big. Of course, big chunky guy here. Arms do go around, but it is limited. You can't move out of the way here, so you got some limitations in the articulation. Uh, big bicep cut there. You do get double jointed pinless elbows. You know I'm here for that. He does have a nice forearm guard that has movement there. You can move that. You can also move at the wrist and the hands. Hands removable as we saw. Big hula hoop up top, waist at the bottom. He can do some of those splits. But boy, his legs are so small and tiny. It'll be interesting how hard he is to stand. You do get a thigh cut with him. Double jointed, pinless knees. And then you get the boot cut. And you get ankles back and forth. He's got the three-pronged toes like we're used to with Skeletor. Big, big ball joints in the feet down here. Very McFarlane Toys-esque is what that reminds me of. Uh, very interesting on the back. Nothing really too special. He's got a nice belt going around with kind of a, a snake mouth with the yellow there. Let's see. Will he stand on his own? And what do you know? He does. Even with those skinny little legs. Skeletor, you got to hit leg day at the gym. Do some squats. Do some deadlifts. Hit those calf raises. Let's get that done. But he does fit. But does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? If you want a little extra support... Of course he does, and that's probably the way to go because I can see this guy slowly leaning, falling over. He is very, very top-heavy. But, boy, he looks good. Looks really good uh, for what he is, for what he is. I will never replace this. I will never say this is my Skeletor. But for what they're going for here, and hopefully just these two figures, I like what I'm seeing here. I will note here his uh, boot cut is very loose on the left leg, probably just a quality issue, probably on just mine. Uh, but that is disappointing. We always want our toys to be perfect out of the package. Doesn't always happen. Just ask Omega Spawn. Just ask that one. Uh, still uh, keeping me up at night, that Omega Spawn unboxing. I'm going to put that on there. We're going to stick him off to the side. There is the mighty Skeletor looking good. Uh, looking evil. Looking evil. But now we turn our attention to the heroic one. Old He-Man himself. Very similar proportions. Once again, a very heavy package here with this one. Packaging is pretty much the same. You got the Netflix logo over there. 40th anniversary. 30 points articulation. He-Man, master of the power of Grey Skull, right there on the side. Uh, a big glamour shot on this side there. And then, of course, the back. We got the cross cell. We got the blur. We got the big picture. We got everything you want in the back of a package here. Let's see what it says about He-Man. Master of the power of Grey Skull. Living among the Tiger Tribe with no memory of who he is or where he came from, Adam discovers his destiny, or rather, destiny discovered him. The Sword of Power found its champion, changing Adam into He-Man. Using the power of Grayskull, He-Man transformed his friends and allies, combining their might. They declare, we have the power. Oh, it's all about that team these days. All about the team. There it is. We're off to the races. And we're off to the races. See you later. And Plastic Prison. Very similar. We instead of the Havoc staff, you get the sword. We get two fists. Very similar uh, readout here between the two figures. There's that up. Oh, he is locked in. I should have uh, assumed that right off the bat. 
Of course, we always got to be locked in with these Masterverse figures, as we know. Ooh, very tight. Very tight. Can I get in there? There it is. And off to the races. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're ready to get out. There it goes. He man. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's look at the stuff that he comes with. Put that off there. And I guess we'll start with the sword. It is the power sword. Very different power sword than I'm used to, especially as a kid. Uh, it's got a little bit of the 2000 series uh, feel to it a little bit, but even more. It's on steroids. It's a big, big sword. And it, what it is, what it is. It's just not my power sword, but it is faithful to what we saw in the show for sure. Very kind of technological, almost a digital looking sword. That's what I get from it. I don't know. Uh, you got the silver. You got the gold. Nice sculpting throughout. Looks like he can stick this in somewhere. Ah, there it is. So you got a little spot there. It will plug into his back. So you can do that. I love to be able to store that back there. I think that is really cool because this is a big sword. Uh, people might not have the shelf room for him with the sword. Of course, you do get Fist of Fury. We got two gripping hands, two Fist of Fury. Very similar to Skeletor as I throw him around a little bit. Uh, but he does have a nice big hands. Uh, some new sculpting here for sure with these big giant hands. Uh, you do get the uh, nice little uh, guards there on the side. I could see these being reused maybe for Ram Man. When are we going to get Ram Man in the Masterverse line? I'm ready for that one for sure. But now we get He-Man. Same articulation as Skeletor. Uh, a little bit uh, nicer articulation, especially in the arms. You're not limited all the way around. But boy, this one looks weird to me. I mean, it just... I get they're going for what it's supposed to look like in the show, and it does look that way. It's just that small He-Man head just looks very, very strange to me. Uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't know. But it does look very, very awkward, very small. But that's the way it is. And you got the power sword on the front. You got his apparatus, uh, very custom to He-Man. A little different color scheme than we're used to with He-Man. With some of these blues, dark navies, uh, some of this gray is what we're used to. Uh, with the yellows and stuff, just a very, very different than our traditional He-Man. That's pretty much these two are all are about being different got the big forearm guards of course going on uh, you can store the sword on the back as i did say articulation all the same as skeletor he does still got a little bit of loincloth action good to see that i'm happy to see a little loincloth action for him you know what i should grab where is that i have it around here let me see something <laughs> i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try this i got the old master verse uh master's 40th anniversary he-man head i wonder what that would look like on here if i pop this little head off it does this little head. Yeah, there it goes. It comes off. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that looks absolutely wild. That doesn't look any better. Actually, it looks worse. Uh, but it looks very strange. It looks like Strong Guy from X-Men, X-Factor back in the day. We all remember Strong Guy, uh, a famous, famous hero. I think he died, though, in the comics, if I am not mistaken. But kind of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Strong Guy a little bit. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might not be fitting. Come on. I have the power. I have the power. He's fitting perfectly. There it is. There it is. There's He-Man and Skeletor. I'm not sure what to think. I really can't. I'm a completionist, so I'm going to get these. I like all interpretations to be represented in my He-Man collection, be it the 2000, be it the Origins, uh, be it the uh, Classics. I like all interpretations to be represented, but if they go deep into this line, I'm going to be a little disappointed. That's me. That's my opinion just not my he-man it's just not my skeletor but if you're seven years old watching this if you're 10 years old watching this i can see how you're saying kyle this is my skeletor this is my he-man and i will never uh, doubt you on that i understand how it goes i was there myself as a little kid at one time so what's good it goes back to the old saying you like what you like you don't what you don't and i like this for what it is a one-off interpretation a one-off representation but you start adding stratos man of arms tila beast man and fill this out when I got other classic characters I want. That's when I might be a little bit disappointed. But it is what it is. And that's where we're going to leave it with this one. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? How do you feel about these two? Are you all in on this show? Are you one of the people that keeps saying, Kyle, you got to stick with it. Keep watching it. Hey, I get that too. But let me know your thoughts on these two figures. Uh, don't forget to like this video. If you made it this far, you might as well. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Every single day, would love to have you a part of them. Don't forget to follow along on Patreon. Pro Wrestling Tees, of course, as well. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Skeletor and He-Man, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.